Trapping plays a very important role in modern-day wildlife management. Professional wildlife biologists monitor fur bearer populations to maintain a healthy and sustainable harvest of this important, renewable natural resource. Trapping provides recreation and income for licensed trappers across this country. Who's Your Trapper Outdoors is brought to you by Who's Your Trapper Supply, Leatherwood Creek Trapping Sense, HTS Productions, Who's Your Trapper Deer Sense, and Leatherwood Wildlife Art. All right, thanks for joining us for uh, episode 11 of uh, Who's Your Trapper Outdoors. On this episode, we'll be checking traps in Mississippi. We've got a question and answer segment, um, so I hope you enjoy the show. Yep, uh, we're actually getting ready to head out on our annual Arkansas trip this again this year. Um, one that I'll actually get to go on <laughs> on Christmas break. Poor so. Jake. That's his uh, Christmas present this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jake typically has to stay home because he's got school his school uh, responsibilities. So yep. this one's during Christmas break. So. Yep. Speaking of Christmas, happy holidays. Yep. We'll be in Arkansas when the ball drops, so <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Here with check day eight. The, uh, we're on our first piece of property. We come in the same piece I've been catching the gray fox in in the field. Same field, but come on further down the road. It's a brush pile. This set's been here three or four days. We've been waiting, and we finally connected last night with a gray. Pretty amazing. We'll get it took care of and get on down our line. Yeah, the set the set that leave had the three grays in a in a row where it was about a hundred yards that way so basically that one spot was probably just you know they were they were catching there and then this one happened to just get in this one here but uh, uh that's four gray foxes in four nights on this on this strip right here five yeah because there's one up there all right another gray fox here um as you can see high fence area there's a beat down path right up along the edge of this where mainly deer have been running but where the deer are running the predators are running obviously we got the road here as well so it's just a, a highway coming and going uh, put a dirt hole in here with some top dog I kind of had it fenced in a little bit uh, log backing he's got that all chewed up but kind of hemmed it in maybe a cat or something might come through too but Connected on this nice gray. Get it remade and we've got plenty more to check in here, so. Yep. The things we do to catch these critters. <laughs> <laughs> so you may have you might have another one up on the Oh, that's right. Stick it through that hole there, Charlie, so you can get a good shot. I will. Two days ago we had a beaver here, had him uh, funneled in here with the dive stick. We had a little caster mound set up back here, some lure, beaver gland, and uh, reset it. Nothing yesterday and today we got a different critter. I can get him out of here. What is that? A big mink? The biggest mink. <laughs> cool. <Ranch> mink. <laughs> Got ourselves an otter. The way he was caught in that trap, it he was coming in off this off the bank, dropped down into the slide, 
hit the trap natural slide here beaver and otter been using so we kind of had two things going for us right next if you can see we got a channel set right there i don't know if charlie can get that just a natural path that follows that log back further on back in the slough we're just gonna pull him out do a remake hopefully uh pick up another one tomorrow all right we're along this road here got a real good thick cut over and i have a set right here dirt hole set top dog and long distance and we connected last night on this gray good job we're we'll gonna get the remake and move on down the line see what else is there for us all right we got this lake here we got a river the a meat river running right here on the other side of this levee i was riding it the other day seeing this trail so i put me some kind of a kind of bear here in the trail and look, night before last it's been out two nights i whopped one night before last <laughs> and then come here this morning <laughs> and whopped and another it's ground to up everywhere so let's see what we whopped We're gonna whop another one. <laughs> there we go. Good size otter. Good otter. Caught him on the hind end. Caught him. He was moving. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Lee. That's cool. I'm gonna follow Charlie. What are you about to do, Charlie? He's got some skittles from me. <laughs> now we're gonna catch a double. Got a trail coming up out of the river right here. You can see where they're just coming up. There's a muddy bank right there. They actually got a worn out right here. We're gonna stick another 330 right in here. See if we can double up on them. All right, Charlie. We will say 330s are illegal on land, especially in private ground here. This is something we would not do at home in Indiana, that's for sure. So you check your state laws because yep. most states you can't do this. All right, we're back here, not far from where I just caught the otter, on another trail coming out of the Amy's River going into this big pretty lake. And there was a first time for everything, I have walked an armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> I have caught everything there is to catch now. <laughs> Stupid thing. I whopped him. <laughs> oh, you whopped him good. Isn't that something? You got many of them around here? Oh, it's a bunch of them. But that's the first one I ever caught in a trap. Pretty wild, Charlie. That is funny. Yeah, we trapped all around them in Kansas. They were, they were everywhere. We'd shoot at them and all kinds of stuff, and we never caught one in a trap out there. Jake shot one back when he was 10 years old or whatever. <laughs> Well, I'd say I whopped him. Jake got it mounted too, didn't he? Yeah, we had freeze dried. Yeah, had a freeze dried for him. <laughs> that was funny. Armadillo. I thought you that's the way you were acting. I thought, <laughs> I thought you caught another otter. I did too. Well, I was just as happy to catch an armadillo first for everything. <laughs> All right. Um, check day eight. A little better than yesterday um, so far actually got two otters that's exciting so anyways we've got a the fourth gray fox of the day the set was here along the road kind of our usual deal but unfortunately um, coyotes, coyotes got in there and, and killed this gray fox and I've seen this before and it's 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 a um, sometimes there's just nothing left just skin and whatever so um, you know the natural world is a brutal place and uh but anyways you always hate to see that um so anyways can't do much about it i we, we'll have to we'll see if we can scan it that um it just depends how badly damaged it is as far as holes and not uh, teeth punctures and that kind of thing so but anyways sometimes that happens unfortunately unfortunately it doesn't happen very often but uh, unfortunately it happened this time so anyways we've got a lot more traps to check we'll see what see what happens all right we got done checking yesterday. Uh, this check day eight here. 
yesterday ran our line we decided you know it's always good to pit fresh sets in wherever you go if you got a piece of property if you got time to make it we came in this piece of property here and punched in a handful just before dark had a set right up here off the main gravel road here dirt road dirt hole top dog predator bait some cat urine a finicky feline and uh the feline is right back there on a the drag that's our eighth cat in eight days so very pleased got charlie here taking a beautiful most likely instagram picture is that right charlie possibly yeah it's one thing we like about trapping in the new places and just sightseeing and taking in all all the beautiful sights that we come across that's right it's just cool seeing, yep. seeing different geography all right check day eight pretty exciting day we um couple otters and the four gray fox lays armadillo which was the first for him and certainly for us we uh, I used to trap Kansas uh, several years ago and there was a armadillos everywhere out there but we never caught one in a trap and um, Jake shot one or whatever back 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 in then but uh, never caught one in a trap so it was kind of cool to see one <laughs> see one yeah as Lee I'd, would say whopped in a 330 <laughs> yeah I haven't seen an armadillo either like that in a trap so Pretty neat. Yep. And, and uh, Justin caught that cat and maintained our uh, eight day, eighth cat, cat a day average. So, uh, and then a couple otters, and Lee caught this this big one here, big bigger than the other one that uh, mm -hmm. Justin caught the first thing this morning. So, so yeah, pretty cool day. We got two more check days. Uh, I think we got another day of decent weather, and m Monday might be raining when we're pulling traps, which I hate it when it's raining and we're pulling traps. Yeah, that is no fun. But we can't complain. though. Know, it's been pretty the whole trip. It has been. It it's been beautiful. Really nice. Like this, you know. Other th other than um, almost too hot. Almost too warm. <laughs> yeah. What day before yesterday? So, 80 degrees or whatever. Maybe we can walk some more otters tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, as Lee would say, we'll see what we can walk tomorrow. So we'll keep you posted. Mm -hmm. segment for the of the show we had a, i'm going to answer two or three of them that have come through one of them was about the uh split rings whether we've had them fail or not we've actually had really good luck with split rings and they are so convenient and so easy to use uh and and so fast to use that um i mean we are really sold on them and i think um by the number of them that we sell obviously lots of people are sold on them and, and, and like them the one thing that I will say uh, about the split rings is that you do need to keep an eye on them, particularly after you've made a catch. Um, they're they're spring they're uh, got uh, a spring steel to them, so you have to keep an eye to make sure that those don't get popped out or separated out, where something would start working its way back through. So that that's the only thing on the split rings is that you just need to make sure that they are um, in uh, uh, in working order the way they were intended to work. The alternative to that are, are these quick links, and um, they're probably a little heavier duty, uh, and um, and, the, and of course they they uh, are threaded and, and close up like that. The the problem that I have found with these is number one they don't fit, fit through the swivel at the end of a trap very well. Uh, the other thing is that once this gets used and you've got sand and grit inside there, uh, very difficult to uh, open and close them. It takes a pair of pliers. So to me, we saw a lot of them and they're, it's a good product, um, but there's, there are, there's some issues with them. So between the two, um, we use the split rings and um, uh, they, they've performed very well for us and the speed that you can use them, the efficiency that you can use them, um, to me, just they far exceed the, uh, the quick links. So that's, that's kind of where we're at on that. 
Another qu question that we had was, what do we like, Bridger traps or the Minnesota brand traps? And um, first of all, I mean, you buy the best quality traps that you can afford. And clearly the Minnesota brands do cost more money than the Bridgers. Uh, although when you start buying the fully modified Bridgers, you're pretty close to the same cost of the, uh, of the cast job, uh, Minnesota brand 550s. So um, I, I had said in uh, episode uh, a year or two ago that we use several different traps and we still do because they're still in good shape. But as we, and I, and I said, I didn't necessarily like having all my eggs in one basket, but as we uh, replace traps that are worn out or add additional traps to what we use, we are adding um, the MB 550s um, ex exclusively. That's, that's what we're adding. And there's, there's several reasons. One is it's just an excellent made trap. Uh, the other cast jaw, uh, which nice and wide, rounded, rounded edges. So that's basically, uh, that is the same thing as the laminated jaw, steel jaw. The other thing is this trap uh, with the posi trip pan is, um, it's ready to go out of the box. So it's a, basically at two and a half pounds of pressure. Very simple to use. I personally, as I've said before, I don't like working on traps, adjusting and all that. So this trap right here kind of takes that out of it. Uh, I have had coyotes bend, bend the frame of the trap up, which you can easily put back in place if you've got one of the um, trap dog adjusters. Uh, but uh, in general, this trap is a, is much lower maintenance than um, the other traditional steel type traps. Um, so as I said, we're, we're uh, moving in the direction of putting all of our eggs in one basket, so to speak. Uh, probably never will 100%, but uh, we are replacing um, our traps uh, or as we add additional traps, we are using the, uh, Minnesota brand 550. I think it fits the needs of a coyote trap clear down to uh, a fox trap. So it gives you quite a bit of versatility. The one more question that we had, and, uh, this is the last question that I'll address on this show is in the intro to our show, um, Jake's working on some traps and the pans are the larger expanded pans on the, on the trap. And somebody asked what the purpose of that was. The idea is that you have a much larger area that the animal can step on. Um, so instead of that, you can expand that out another 30 or 40 percent with a piece of, of um, steel welded on top of that. Some companies actually make uh, trap pans that you can add on. There's a, there's a couple issues with that. One, it's it's I think it's okay for bobcat trap, and it's not not quite as critical. But the issue with it is that you've got the animal stepping on the pan and the trap jaw at the same time. And I don't know that the benefit in a coyote scenario, the benefit of the larger pan is worth the issues that you may have with that. So um, generally, uh, not even generally, uh, basically we are just plain not using that pan anymore. We, um, um, had, we've had more issues with it than we have had benefits. Uh, so we are not using the expanded pan. Uh, we're basically using the pan, the stock pan that the trap comes with. So, um, you know, if you have a larger jaw spread trap and you, then you do have a larger pan, uh, it does give you a bigger area uh, to get that animal's foot in and, and to fire the trap. But when, um, you know, you have the smaller jaw traps, you're just going to have to pretty much live with the pan uh, that's on the trap. So that's, that's where we're at on that. Um, we've, we've used the expanded pans enough that uh, from our standpoint, uh, we, we prefer to stick with the stock pan that's on the trap itself. So hope that clears up a few things that uh, we've had come through. Um, if you have questions, be sure to, uh, you can either uh, do it on the comment section on YouTube. You can email them to us um, or you can even call us on the phone. And we will, we'll try to answer them at that, you know, at that specific time. But um, also we will follow up and use them on the show because I'm sure if you had the same that question somebody else has the same question all right guys thanks for watching us uh food your trapper supply catalogs you can pick one up here if you live local at the shop and give us a call at 317-881-3075 pick up a copy that way be glad to mail you one everything's free you can get online at who's your and uh, request one on there or you can go ahead and print one uh, pdf file clickable link right there on the home page can't miss it so that way you can get anything and everything you would need for your trapping needs. And of course, we got our deer sent. 
and uh, that's all you need to do. So hop on or give us a call. Join us on January 6th for an all-new episode of Who's Your Trapper Outdoors.